everybody it's amy at crafty cat so you can see i have a little bowl here full of goodies and these are all kind of leftovers from the um grungy wallpaper um journal and that mine is complete once carol is ready to go we'll do flip flip throughs kind of on the same day she's ahead of time on me as far as um you know like time zone sort of thing so um yeah, so she'll be a little ahead of me, but we're going to basically put them out the same day so that you guys can see the flip through of both. But um, mine's done, so I'm going to do kind of, I guess you could call it a little mop up with some of the stuff that was left over. I've kind of started to um, play with it just to get my idea in my head and also so you didn't have to watch me like back all these things with just scraps of paper. So what I have basically, what I'm gonna do is a little um, hinge hinge book, like I've done with, um, you know, Christmas cards and things like that. You can do it with anything, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can do it with tags, you can do it with yeah, ephemera. You've seen those ephemera books that I've put together before. So essentially what I'm gonna do is take these um, portrait pieces from Joey Cardmaker's kit and then the bits and pieces I have left over from my kit like the lady that you saw in the front here if I can find her again this um, journaling card that I've backed just so it gives it a little a little more body and I'm going to put together a little flip journal thing <laughs> with that stuff so anyway that's the plan so what I had this all arranged and now I just have messed it all up again um, that one, and then this lady, and this, I think that's right, and I can't remember which way anything goes, so anyways, I have this gentleman, that'll be one, and I'll hinge it to this lady, and then that one will get hinged to this young man, and you can see I have done a few decorative things, but this is one of the tags from my kit that's left over. And then uh, this one is this young lady. So spots to write some, some are just decorated. This gentleman, oh, I think I did that off. I was trying to go lady, gentleman, lady, I know that's kind of stupid, but that's what I was trying to do. So how did I do that? <laughs> Maybe I had these out of order. Um, is this the tag? Sorry. Um, and then the young lady, or we'll do this lady. No, that's not right either. I had a very specific thing in my head is why I'm torturing you all with this. This one. No. How did I have that? That's annoying. Okay, this lady, or this man, this lady. And then we have, it wasn't that one, it would have been this one. I know he was the last one. And then it was probably a tag. And then, well, what in the world did I do different? Had it all worked out, but it is what it is. I guess that's how it's going together. Okay, and then I have some um, playing cards that I've just, you know, put paper on underneath and then put the, the um, paper over the top, the tissue paper, sewing tissue. And then I'm going to turn those into kind of pockets and things. So let's just start with this gentleman and figure out maybe what we want to do on the front. So I know it needs to be inked because I didn't do that yet. So how's everybody doing? I'm sorry, that was like brutal to watch, I'm sure. Um, I need to say hugs and blessings. Well, you know, not need, want to say hugs and blessings to Brenda H, Sharon, and Black Coffee and Wildflowers. Thank you guys so much for always leaving such kind comments and just um, very regularly commenting and I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to continuing or people who have followed me for a while. Could not do it all these years without you guys. This is my 
sixth year doing YouTube, so very fun and exciting and makes me happy that I'm able to do this for a living. It's It's been just awesome um, getting to know a lot of you and making friends and just doing what I love, basically, right? So, yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just going to put a little strip of this, I think, just for something on, on this portrait card. So yeah, I hope you guys are well. And um, if you don't have these, these are Joey Card Makers um, Victorian Portraits. And he has Victorian Gentleman Portraits and Victorian Lady Portraits. And it's two separate kits. He also has um, some 1920s. I'm not sure. I think 1940s. I don't know. Um... But yeah, if you pop over to his Etsy, which is in the description box below this video, you'll be able to um, find him and all the goodies that he has. He has lots of beautiful kits. It's not just these ones. He has other ones as well. So definitely go see what he's got. And he's a very nice man to boot. And he lives in Australia. So that's kind of kind of a fun little thing. That sounds lovely right about now with our weather the way it is. I don't know. I can't complain. Ours is like so much better. And um, this isn't the right time period, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, we the weather has warmed to above freezing. So we have... No more ice stuck in our gutters and all of that, and it has been pouring rain. So that snow is going bye-bye very quickly, and I'm actually super happy to see that. I do love to see the snow um, briefly, <laughs> but after I have to mess with it for a whole week, I'm, I'm over it. And it was, that was a long week without <coughs> my husband's help because he was away. So it was, I was real ready for it to go. Real ready. I was hoping I could peel a layer off of this because it feels a little bit thick, but it's, it's not really wanting to do that. So I'm not going to force the issue. If you steam them, I think that works, but we're just going to put it down. Just for a little something on the front here to make it interesting. So yeah, I thought you guys might want to see this. And it's just a fun little idea that you could do even if you just got Joey's um, portrait kits or something like that. Or if you just have a bunch of pieces left over from a journal you've been making. You know, random tags and cards and whatever. You could just make yourself a little, little stack of goodies. And put them together and have another piece of... Well, I, I, I wouldn't put this in a journal. I might put it with a journal or something like that, but it, it's going to be too thick. But you'll have another, you know, standalone piece that's sort of like a mini journal. This tape that was stuck on the side of my desk over here. That's what I do. I stick it to my desk when I have a leftover piece. <laughs> Or my lamp right next to me, just somewhere for it to hang on to. All right, so there's that. And then this, I kind of want to just leave this as it is so that it could be written on, you know. And this I'll let also be another writing spot. And we'll hinge our lady on there. This one's wanting to curl as they, they do like to do. Okay, and what I'm going to use for hinges is, and you don't, they don't have to all be the um, exact same size. As you can see, this card's a little shorter and a little wider. As long as they're sort of in the realm of being a similar size, that obviously makes it a little bit easier. You can use washi tape to do this. Um, I'm just using strips of paper, and I probably, probably am not going to need them this long. So I'm going to grab... Hold on just a second, I gotta find my deckle scissors. Okay, I could use my Tim Holtz cutter, which is what I use to cut these, but it's a little, 
a little bit loud, so I'll just use these. I'll cut them down a little. They're roughly like probably almost an inch and a quarter by half an inch. They don't all have to be the same size. I mean, you know, you can sit and measure if that's what you feel like doing, but I don't worry about it a whole lot. I just <laughs> as long as they hold the book together. And I am using cardstock. I mean, it's not a, like a super heavy cardstock, but it is a cardstock because, um, you know, if it's too thin of a paper, they'll probably just come undone. So, and that's not really what you want. So I just put them on wherever, and I try to put them the same sort of spot on all the pages, just so uh, the spine will look even. But even if you don't, you can always add a piece of lace or something like that. I'm just gonna put them on here, plunk them on here. I am hanging over just a tiny, tiny bit. I don't know if you can see that. Just, just barely, not at all, just so that it's not so tight, you're like um, bending your pieces to try to close it and stuff like that. You know, it's leaving that little gap that we do when we do spines of any type, really. And this one, oh, what am I doing? Don't wanna do that, Amy. <laughs> it's gonna just start gluing together right there. What are you guys up to? Anything exciting? Hopefully you're staying warm. I know a lot of places are still just bitter, bitter cold. Well, especially up in Canada right now. But that I think is pretty normal for you guys. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I think you're always pretty cold this time of year. Not that that makes it feel any better, but not something you're not used to. Or usually cold here too. It's not like this was abnormal. Some some winters are very mild here and we don't get a whole lot of snow. And then other winters are like, wow, <laughs> did we have to get it all in one year? So yeah, it just kind of goes that way back and forth. I probably could have cut these shorter so that it wouldn't have cut into her as much, but Stress a whole lot about that. Do you want to get this over a little more? So yeah. And then you just try to get them as straight as you can so that hopefully in the end, you know, your book all comes together straight. And this one is up a little higher, so I don't have to worry about that a whole lot right this minute, but yeah. We will. We will worry about that eventually. I'm going to add a little scrap and a word. I'm going to tear this down just a tiny bit more. And this is just a book page. Actually, I think this is out of my little Sears and Roebuck catalog, the old one. Well, it's a remake, but. They're fabulous, no matter what they are, new or old. I don't know why I am so tired today. I'm just struggling to keep my eyeballs open for some reason. I have to go get a cup of coffee or something. And I even kind of slept in this morning. My husband, usually when he gets up, you know, I hear him getting in the shower and all that. And um, I usually get up, but this morning he came walking out of the bathroom and almost startled me awake. I was like, whoa, <laughs> I was just snoozing away. I'm usually a super light sleeper. He always laughs. Usually I just walk in the room and you're awake. It's like, yeah. yeah. But he snuck out of bed and everything this morning and I didn't hear him. 
That is rare. Okay. Some of these are a little bit skinnier than others. I Like I said, I don't worry about it a whole lot, but if you want to get real serious about it, you can measure them all to the exact same size. That's just not my... There's bigger worries in life, right? Okay, so then when I stick them down, I try to stick them basically in the same spot just so that it looks a little neater um, when it's all complete. I know, these are brown, why am I inking them? But it does show on here, believe it or not. So this is all you really need if you um, find that tab journal thing with the fabric where you go two and three and two and three and you know that whole thing if that's like what I don't get it or that's too much of a pain this is like as simple as you can get you're just <laughs> making little tabs and um, putting them on so it's like super easy you can do I've done Christmas ones where I use all different um, like Christmas papers instead of all the same like all these brown ones you can use fa fabric and do the exact same thing if you like the look of the fabric better it really doesn't matter what you use and then I really do try to kind of make sure they're I push down on the uh, the little hinges to try to make sure they're staying together flat because obviously you don't want some sticking out and some in further and all that because it'll it'll be messed up. Oh, I just thought is this gonna go? Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut those ones shorter. I don't want it covering her face. That's sad days. That'll be all right now. It's kind of cutting into her. That's something you have to think about, and I obviously put that on before I really thought about it. So, you gotta think where your hinges are gonna go. And then I'm just gonna do like this and try to line it up like corner of the card, corner of the card. And that seems to work for me. The big thing is to keep flipping and making sure you're not sticking your pages together because I've done that <laughs> with the ooze that comes out of the little hinges. So just make sure you don't have that happening because that's not fun. So yeah, it really doesn't get easier than these. And I have done it, like I said, with old, well, not old, but Christmas cards that people sent you, you know, and then you can have the pretty outside of it, but you can cover if you want the inside with just a piece of coffee dyed paper or whatever and have a spot to write. And then you have a little, little journal, just then. some of our number but I will and I'll show you what I did here in just a second with this card because like I said I did get playing around a little bit and decorating some of them I knew I wouldn't have time to decorate all of them anyway so I'll probably pause here in a minute and continue doing this part myself and then come back and we'll do some decorating because otherwise this is going to be like the most boring video ever. I 
probably should have glued a bunch of them together, hinged them, and then come on and just showed you how I did the hinges. I didn't even think of that until just now, so. figure out and line it up at the bottom I'm working on a couple of new grungy kind of kits one is going to be a grandmother's attic sort of idea and then the other one is gonna be kind of abandoned house idea. But they're both going to be able to work together so that you could, if you wanted, have them all in the same journal or, you know, just do separate journals. But they have that sort of feel like this one, the grungy, but not excessively grungy. Cause I know not everybody likes the grungy. I consider it more of a, a vintage-y sort of a, a look. Okay, so anyway, this one um, opens like that. That's the back. And then on the back when I was covering, it, putting this guest check here, I found this old um, card from 1948, which obviously is way after this time period, the Victorian time period, but it's just such a cool card. And um, so I just backed it with some paper to write on and then this is part of the card too this little ruler so I just thought that was kind of fun to, to pop in that little guest check pocket so that's all that's the only interaction there but anyway that's that one so I'm gonna finish putting these together and I'll be right back okay I am back and you can see I've gotten them all attached and ready to go. So I want to say, um, oh, the first thing I want to say is everybody, if you could send hugs and love to Joey Cardmaker, he and his family and friends lost a, just a dear friend that's been fighting cancer that they've been helping care for. So um, just, yeah, send him lots of love. That is so 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 difficult so anyways um definitely hugs hugs and love sent to you joey um these are joey card makers they're like the blank inside part of the cabinet cards that you could just you know put those inside here i just wanted to collage on these that's the only reason i didn't do that so um but this one is one of his blank ones that i just added this is one of the um, oval pieces that was left from my blue and oval the color combo day challenge it's a freebie that's on the uh, blue and oval day so i just added him there and yeah so that's my little book all put together and you can see that's what the hinge ends up looking like um so you can take lace or fabric or whatever and just kind of put it over the top of this glue here and there and um yeah that's that's a nice end touch to it which i probably will do i don't know yet but anyway i want to figure out where i want to put these playing cards i'm going to use them like tucks so they'll go on here and then you'll be able to tuck like a tag or something in behind them so i just have to figure out where i want them maybe on this page We'll leave that other one for writing. So see, I still end up covering up a bunch of the writing. <laughs> I just like to decorate with these. So that's what these are more about. They're more for fun. I mean, obviously you're not gonna have a ton of writing in there anyway. So that's just how I like to do it. Oh, I was thinking, see, I'm such a dark. Oh well, now it's got an even rounder corner. I didn't need to round that corner because this is not a rounded corner. <laughs> hmm. uh, didn't do a good job of it either. It's all wonky, but we're just going to go with it. It's just a little beat up. What can it say? All right, so that'll go there. So we're just going to glue on a couple sides there.
So yeah, you wouldn't have to go through all this um, collaging. It's just, I like the look of that. So that's what I decided to do, but you don't have to do it that way. My Las Vegas cards. Can I just say, souvenir cards used to be a lot cheaper. <laughs> I mean, I think everything was, obviously, but wow, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to buy some cards so that I can alter while I'm while we're in Vegas, you know, perfect place to find them. And it's like, oh, wow, they just aren't as inexpensive as they used to be, are they? I can't remember if I was going to do this one or this one. I guess I'll do it to this one. I can do it to that one, too, so. We'll do this one. And these, this is just some scrapbook paper I have with all these numbers and things on it. I think it was Stamperia, I'm pretty sure. And so it's a little bit thicker, so that's it makes a good pocket. Oh, I kind of want to see those numbers. So I'll just come over a tiny bit. It's skinny enough. I mean, you wouldn't even have to decorate these up at all if you didn't want to, because I kind of want it on there straight. Um, you know, they look cool just with the card under there and all that, but I always think that's fun. And then these little Joey card maker um, pieces, I cut them out because they did have kind of a little frame around them. Now I can't find the other ones I have. I want the lady on this one. I think I'll put the lady on this one. Anyway, they have a little frame around them. I just cut them out all the way just because I, I like the look of them. And then this is just um, tea dyed paper that I cut with the deckle edge trimmer, Tim Holtz deckle edge trimmer. And then it just makes like a little, a tiny writing spot, not anything huge, but just kind of a fun little something to tuck in a little spot like that, especially when you're making these little books. But you can do it in the big books too. They're just cute. I did those in the tall journal too, which you guys will see when we do the flip through. So that can go in there. She's just kind of going to peek out over there. And we need a tag or something this leftover. That's way too tall. It's cute. He's cute. Got this one. Will work. We'll just have to back it. That'll give us some color. Those photos would look cute on these too. But I also like these tags by themselves. They're just pretty with the flowers. So that will go in there. That's good. And let's get that backed. Let's use some that. Graph paper. And then, of course, you could put any other pieces of ephemera you have in those. Let's see if we have something else to tuck in there. Okay. 
Yeah, these portraits have been great, Joey. I have enjoyed working with them very much. They're perfect for, you know, kits that don't have maybe a lot of, I mean, there were some images in my kit. It's just that it was really nice to have more to play with. It's always, it's always fun to have more to play with, right? More choices. <laughs> Whatever it is. Okay, so that'll just tuck in there. That'll give you another, at least, a little bit of writing. That one's done. What do I want on the front of this? Maybe a flower would be pretty on the front of that. I also have these little um, coin envelopes. that you could just paper clip in there. Okay, focus. <laughs> I just squirreled right out of there, didn't I? Uh, let's see, what else could we put? This would be kind of cool. Oh, yeah, let's do that. No, I have this one too. Oh, those tags. Oh, cutting this out is going to be a nightmare. I'll cut this out and be right back. Okay, I am back. I think I'm gonna put one of these Tim Holtz uh, flowers on too. I want to show you guys um, on this piece because obviously cutting out these little holes is a nightmare. The smaller size of the crocodile hole punch works to cut out those holes. It's not exact perfect, but then you can ink it a little bit and voila. So yeah, good to know, right? If you have that little piece, if you got the kit. So yeah, that's handy because Lord knows we don't want to cut out those tiny holes any other way. <laughs> Ugh, that would be nightmarish. So we're just going to kind of put this on. I'm not going to worry a whole lot. I just like the look of it. And I'm not worried about what's underneath because we're going to cover that anyway. I don't use these a whole lot, even though I love them. I need the pen. Where's the pen? Because a lot of them are too big for most things that I do. Which is sad. Exactly. Let me turn it a little more. There we go. And we just need to wipe off all our glue mistakes. Okay, there's that. I like it. Place to write on the inside, definitely. And that's a nice spot to write. I'm trying to think, where do I want the next playing card? Maybe we'll put the next playing card right there. Right here. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I'm not going to worry about rounding the corner. Ay, ay, ay. I just saw that one rounded corner on that journal card and it was like in my brain that they were all rounded. Silly girl. Maybe we'll use one of these. Is this one? Oh no. It's not the thicker that I think I'm gonna... Wallpaper. 
And I think I'll do that side. And I will thicken that up and put her in the back as the tag or whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's still too tall. I thought I tore it enough. At the bottom. I think I might just glue it top and bottom and have it sort of like a belly band. I want to see if this little tag will fit in there. So it's like a mini version of the tall skinny journal. And again, if you're wondering where I got these smaller tags and things, I just printed the tags from the kit um, two to a page so that I could have some smaller ones. And if you go even more mini, you can do like three to a page. That's still going to be way too big, huh? Go back here too with the lady. I don't want to tuck something in there. I think I might cut this off. It's got a little bit of a line from my lovely printer that makes me want to throw hands, as my daughter would say. <laughs> I love that saying. I was gonna throw hands because she's she's super fierce. <laughs> she cracks me up. I'm the same way she gets it from me. We think we're fierce. Kind of like Rex on Toy Story. <sighs> yeah, I'll just do that. So we got to back her so that she's a little stronger. And we're just going to glue this top and bottom. Some pretty tough wallpaper, so I'm not real worried about it. Especially just for a little card like that. Okay, what do I want to put her on? I might just double up some of this, kind of like I did with the littler version. Loose stuck on my finger. Lovely. So lovely. Yeah, and we'll just do a, a very small border around that. It's just a rainy day today. I can't believe how much it's rained and how how much that snow has melted. Because we were buried. Oh, I should have inked that first. <laughs> it's too late now. I'm just going to do a normal edge around it real little bit, little bit. This is coffee dyed. Do you know the texture of the paper is different after you coffee dye it than it is when you tea dye it? It's so bizarre. It's a very strange thing. So yeah, I'll just kind of Oh, it's still too tall, huh? Because I put too much glue down here. And then I added a border, too. All the things, all the things. Put 
That's a barely, barely, barely. And the tissue's wanting to come off my card right here. You stay there. I think that'll work. I know what we can do. that this is a huge um, fix, but just to sort of help hold that down. Yeah, why are my fingers sticky? I don't know, it's weird, right? Because you're touching the glue. Just go all the way at the top. Let's go down just a little. I'm going to have to do a tiny snip right here. Is it even? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm not worried about the bottom very much, but I just don't want the top to get tugged off. That's good. It just needs the corner to stay in. And that can go in there. I like that. Very much. About to write... What else do we need? Do we need anything else? Maybe one more tuck on the inside of this page. This one. I'm pretty sure this is stamp area. It looks like it looks like their kind of thing. so stellar if I could ever cut straight. This is actually needs to be narrower. Helps if you hold the scissors the right way and all that. Like going in the right direction, not cutting like this and stuff. <laughs> uh, that does help. Got this little strip that's lighter. Since it's cardstock, it doesn't need anything. Oh, glue. I think I need to put some hot water in there. Take the lid off and put hot water in there is what I mean. put in that. Now you could go all out and do all kinds of cool little things in this. So have fun with it because See if I had any other small tags. Oh, dropping my glue. I could turn one of these into a tag. Because they're on cardstock. And then put one of these little tags too.
Oh, it's going to do one of those envelopes, huh? That'll give us two, two writing spots. I think I'll do all of the corners, which is that little snip, the smallest one. Gives us. Paper clip onto a page. This is very cool. <laughs> Well, am I losing my marbles or what? Oh, there we go. I knew there were a few somewhere. I know I saw it. I can use the. I'm just gonna use the deck ledge set scissors because I'm not about to start trying to cut that. All those little. You can do it with a hole punch, but ugh. the only thing I don't like about stamps. And I don't have one of the cool stamp scissor things. <laughs> Just deckles. Let's put a little piece of lace or something too. See, gotta see all the things. I like this one better, I think. Got to see all the things. Okay, let's get this glued down because it's just about to disintegrate into nothing. I'm actually gonna just glue this down. So it'll just be like that. And I just put gesso on this. Um, and it is a vintage ledger, but it got all beat up in my scrap bin. <laughs> so it wasn't like this when I painted it, but looks cool now. It's very fragile though. Hopefully I can get some glue on it without destroying it. It's a mess. It's a big mess. Okay, 
Okay. And how do I want this? Maybe just down the side. Rusty. Well, it's not really old. They're just rusty because I made them rusty. <laughs> they look old and rusty. I want to cover up all that because I like it. So I think I'm just going to kind of try not to stick myself in the finger with it. It's a tiny little one. And we'll keep that paper clip to clip it on the page. This here. Gonna put glue here and hope it all stays down. And then, do I have something I could put in this? So many stages, or you know what I mean? So many. If I cut this down, my duckle edge cutter, but I didn't have my normal cutter. Should and will is another story. Just a little bit more. Yeah, see, this is the problem with these. Maybe this. Oh my goodness! All the things. I'm gonna do a little, just so that it, hopefully somebody can see. Oh, I did it totally crooked. I thought that was central, but it was not. Oh, that's 
as good as it's gonna get. But that'll just make it at least easier to grab that out of there instead of so difficult. Oopsie, let's get that glued before it gets torn off. And do I have a little like something to fit to put on there like a little flower or something a something <laughs> i have I might have a something in here <laughs> language of flowers. That's a very Victorian thing. Will it show up? Let me put it on some book page. The language of flowers. Dink a dink a doo. Dink a dink a doo. Whoa. I need to put some light on my It's gotten so like sticky because it's starting to get dried out from having the lid off the whole time. Yeah, that's bad. put like 10 times more glue on here than needed to be on here because of that it was all gloppy okay, let's put that away before we do something with it I wonder if I could get more ink on my fingers it's a real wonder that um, washi stickers don't work <laughs> when your fingers look like that and you touch them. Uh, I want the part that says the language of flowers to definitely be on the book page or I think you'll never see it. I don't know if you're going to see it anyway. It's very um, kind of a dark book to begin with. You guys can see it. It does say the language of flowers. And now I have tip, I have paper towel stuck to my finger. Oh, that will make me crazy. Okay. Where are we gonna put this? I think right here. So as you can see, you could go on and on and on and just fiddle and play and put little tuck spots and goodies, but I think I will stop there for today. But yeah, super fun. And then it can just stand up on a shelf somewhere and you can write in it or not write in it or add photographs. That would be another super fun thing to do, especially if you had old timey uh, family photographs add it would be very fun 
Oh my goodness. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you make one if you got the Joy Card Maker Kit. And uh, again, if you could send Joey some love on Instagram. Um, and I'll leave a link to his uh, Etsy and you can get a hold of him that way too. Just He's such a sweet gentleman and yeah, it's, it's very sad. So I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and we will chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.